Good morning, Holy Apostles. We're excited to give you some information today about our upcoming worship service uh, this coming Sunday, September the 13th, where we return to inside worship for the first time in nearly six months. A few weeks ago, Bishop Sloan gave us permission in the Diocese of Alabama to return to inside worship, and some things are gonna look a little different. Uh, there'll be a few changes to our worship service, and we're gonna walk you through and show you some of those changes today. Uh, starting on Labor Day weekend, he allowed churches to enter uh, into worship again for the first time. So on the 6th, we had uh, a service with our vestry, return to worship transition team, our ushers, greeters, a few other folks, uh, to make sure everything was in place and ready for your safe return on the 13th. Um, first this morning, we need to thank members of the transition team. Our team has been led by Dr. Raquel Shelton uh, and Ed Burnett. Also Diane Eager, Kathy Newhouse, and Drew Dahlgren served on the committee as well. They have worked tirelessly, worked hard, meeting every week, uh, helping us navigate all the changes and transitions to worship. First with our return to outside worship services and now preparing for our return to inside services on the 13th. The Bishop gave us guidelines for returning to worship that will follow uh, as we return uh, here to Holy Apostles. Uh, the first guideline is that masks must be worn at all times in the building. Um, also social distancing must be practiced. Uh, and then secondly, this is a little bit more of, more of a challenge for us uh, there's to be no congregational singing in our worship service. Uh, these last months, we've all learned about aerosols and how things and the virus has spread and, and so forth with talking or, uh, or with singing. And so uh, singing is one of those things that's, that's not recommended. Uh, and then thirdly, Bishop Sloan uh, has encouraged congregations, given us the guideline to keep services as short as possible. At Holy Apostles, we don't like long sermons, so uh, that shouldn't be a challenge for us to follow. So the clergy team and the transition to worship team have been asking ourselves, how do we return to worship and follow the guidelines and keep everyone as safe uh, as possible as we, as we continue and seek to meet the worship needs of our congregation? And so first it's important to say, we're gonna continue our um, early morning outside worship service. We're gonna continue to have the eight o'clock uh, service here in the shaded area of the parking lot you know, this summer in July and August, it was a little bit warm uh, some of those mornings, but we're entering into the fall and it's a beautiful time of year to be uh, outside at eight o'clock uh, worshiping in God's creation. So we invite you to join us uh, for that service. We're also gonna continue our YouTube uh, online services as well. So you can worship with us uh, anytime uh, in that way online. Um, and then thirdly, this 1030 inside worship services. So we're, we're, we're trying to meet all the worship needs uh, of our congregation uh, during this, this challenging time that we're seeking to navigate, offering outside worship, inside worship, and online worship as well. So we invite you to continue to watch uh, as we show you some of the changes for our inside worship service. Outside, as you approach our front entrance, when you enter, your temperature will be checked by a vestry person of the day or by one of our greeters. As you enter the narthex, hand sanitizer will be available. Programs will also be available for pickup, but they won't be distributed by ushers. There will be a place for you to leave your offering. The ushers will help people find their seats. It would be great if we could fill up the front first and then move toward the back. We know that you all have your favorite seats and the place you like to sit the best and the place that's most comfortable for you. But considering the unusual times that we're in, we hope that you will help us fill the church in the most safe and efficient way. We figured out we can accommodate about 65 people here in our sanctuary and our configuration of chairs. We've spaced it out, uh, different sized family groups with two chairs in between for safe seating. When it's time for communion, we'll have a single communion station at the front of the church. We'll wear our masks forward, sanitize our hands, and social distance. We'll come forward and receive the bread. We'll return to our seats using the outside of the rows.
Once we return to our seats, we'll remove our masks and take the bread there, putting our masks back on when we're done. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. At the end of the service, we'll dismiss the congregation from the back of the church forward. So when we leave, we ask that if you would like to visit, that you go outside where it's open air and we can spread out and there's more room to do that. We think we can safely accommodate about 65 people, so that makes it very important that you let us know you're coming. Use the link on the email to sign up, call Kim at the church office, or email and let us know you're coming. We certainly won't, don't want to turn anyone away as long as we have capacity and we can get you seated. If you want to be here, we want you here. So please use the link and sign up. Call the office and let us know you're coming. This is the first step to our coming back for inside worship at Holy Apostles. Going forward, we don't know what the future holds or what it looks like. As we get into the fall, we may have to take a step back um, or maybe restrictions will be loosened. Uh, we just don't know at this point. But what we do know is we're looking forward to worship here at church on Sunday the 13th. And we're working hard to make this uh, the very safest uh, that we possibly can for our community and the best worship experience possible. We hope you continue to worship with us online, on YouTube, in person, outside at 8 a.m., or here in church at 10.30. And we look forward to seeing you then. <laughs>